YouTube, this is Monk, and I'm here to tell you what Layla's V7 is going to be like. So I'm going to outline the changes between V6 and V7, run you through some of the maps, show you the changes, and then we'll be done. So let's kick it off with Countdown. While this is loading up, I'm going to tell you what the overall changes between V7 and V6 are. Melee damage is increased so that now if you shoot somebody with your DMR three times and then bash them, they die. Um, and that's the biggest one that affects general gameplay. Uh, next, there's no Magnum, and there's no Evade. So there will be no more foreshotting with a Magnum, etc., etc. Alright, so on Countdown, uh, the changes are simple. The weapons now spawn in the same place, on Flag and on Slayer. So no matter whether there's Flag or Slayer, you'll have Sniper spawning at S2, Rocket spawning on Big Door. Now, here's another more significant change, actually is back here on this back stairs you have these sandbags here to make it possible to jump right here like that and that's an awesome change just because it uh, makes it possible to move throughout the map more easily i really like it and finally instead of custom on balcony like in v6 you have camo which used to be in v5 and whatever v4 and that's all for countdown so let's start loading up another map Game and V7 over. has been out for a while, but uh, for those of you who play playlists and don't play many customs, I thought that this video might be very helpful. So let's go to Nexus next. For the world. Got a D-so. Just kidding. Nexus, V7. Man, I really got to get some, rid of some of my four drilled stuff. I have way too much. In other news, I might have found myself a new team yesterday. I might be teaming with Alumni and Pre-Vintage and Possibility, being coached by Coach Exor. And I'm pretty psyched to be teaming with Alumni because he's like a known kid. Full on. Known status. I think he got uh, top 16 once in Halo 2. Um, definitely broke top 32 multiple times in Halo 2 back in 07. Um, so, yeah. Alright, now the only change to the Nexus, I'm going to make this short, is this front jump up to the base. So you can now jump right here and go up here. And it's really not that big a deal. Like, it doesn't change a whole lot, but I just wanted to point it out. Because it it's easy to miss. It, like, blends right Game in. Game so. over. Pop, 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 pop. So I was running games with alumni and this new team yesterday, and we were rocking kids in matchmaking. I mean, that's kind of a given, but... The cool part for me was that I was getting a lot more clips than usual, which was exciting. Um, I got like a triple kill, an overkill, both of them clippable. Actually, the overkill sucked. It was not clippable. That was a lie. All right, so there's a few other changes in V7. Oasis is totally removed, and Pit Slayer is removed. And instead, we have these two maps uh, from Anniversary, Battle Canyon, and Penance. Uh, the MLG versions are different as it would be expected. So I'm going to run you through Battle Canyon, just giving to give you a brief summary and uh, a little bit of strat, and then move on to Penance. And I think I'm going to be doing separate videos for both Battle Canyon and Penance to like cover these maps more in-depth. So um, in all game types, both King of the Hill and Slayer, which are the two game types on this map, um, you spawn here at Needles. This area is called Needles. Um, in the MLG version, the doors in the back of the base are closed, so the teleporters are right there on the back of the base. And I'll run you through the weapon spawns really quick. Snipers spawn up here. Normal MLG snipe spawns uh, every two minutes at 10 seconds before the minute. And then rockets spawn low mid right there. And that's pretty much all you need to know uh, in terms of the weapon spawns. I'm going to show you these side caves. Here's red cave. And these are useful for killing people out of the hill or, like, trying to defend rockets or, like, bait rockets. And now onto the strat on this map. And it's very simple. Hold red side. If you spawn red side, don't let them portal rush you. Um, if you spawn blue side, uh, you have to orchestrate pushes into red. Because red side is super powerful, and here's why. There's multiple reasons. For one thing, it's darker, so it's harder to see in general. And that kind of messes people up with their call sometimes. 
Uh, sometimes they call this blue side because it's darker, but no, it's red. Um, another thing is there's a slant on the back of the base on red side. On blue side, there is this, there's not this slant. This doesn't exist. It's just flat all the way, so you'd be standing, like, up here. Um, and that makes it hard to, like, you can hide right here, and you can't get sniped, and you can watch this portal really easily. Whereas on blue side, you're up there, you're totally exposed. Like, if you're trying to watch the portal, you can get sniped really easily. Because uh, the sniper will be down on needles or up on arch. Um, and so the second reason that red side is more easily defensible is because of the arch. It has, it's obviously easy access from red side. You have this ramp up here. And... You can just, you know, pop back down here. I kept falling off, but it, it took me a little while to get used to it, but it's pretty easy once you get used to it. Uh, if you were just playing to the side right here, um, you're not going to fall off. But you can just pop back out, put shots. You have a really good angle on blue plasma, which is what the side of the base is called, the plasma. And that, but that's what makes red side easily defensible. Three things. It's dark. You have that slant on the back of the base to watch the portal. And you have arch. So... Um, as for ideas for how to push through, uh, the first tendency is often to push through notch right here. I call this notch. A lot of people don't have a name for it, really. Um, and that's kind of a bad idea because it's easily defensible. It's smarter to push through the bottom of the base through magnum um, and up over this side through plasma. Also, a tendency is to push back, back port, and that's really easily defensible if you have rockets, too. So that's not often a good idea unless you already have them distracted with other team members pushing. That's it for Beaver. Let's move on. Game to over. Yeah, and yeah, it's Battle Creek and Reach, but I think that anybody that's played Halo 2 is probably still gonna think of it as Beaver Creek. Because what's more memorable? Battle Creek or Beaver Creek? Beavers have tails. It's that simple. I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'm not going to touch it. So the original version of Penance was 7.0, or just V7. And they made some changes, and I will tell you what those changes are. I believe in Playlist it's V7.1, uh, so you won't have to really worry about V7. But I'm going to run you through the changes just in case you ever need to know for some reason or another. Load, 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 reach loading screen, blue light, shiny. All right, so red spawns on this side, and blue spawns on that side. Through there, you can see those blue spawns if I have four loaded up. Um, and in V7.1, I'm going to go to monitor mode and move around quickly. Here, I'll just run through the map really quick so you can kind of get an idea of it. So the, this portal, oh, shucks, that was going to make the portal bad. All right, so I'll take a different route. Um, this is red spawn, go up here. There's a lift. Um, you can go through that portal, and that's a good idea if you spawn red because it gives you access to more of the map. Uh, here's where grenade launcher spawns every two minutes, just like on Zealot. Um, camel will spawn down there. The first camel spawn is at 13 minutes and 10 seconds, and then it spawns two minutes from when it's picked up. Um, they put it on a delayed spawn because they felt like the map was unbalanced uh, if it spawned at the very beginning. Shotgun spawns here. 90 seconds from when it's picked up, maximum of four on the map. So you could have a whole team with shotguns. And it's good, like, if you camp right here, you'll probably get some kills up this left. That's part of a good setup. Here's where that portal comes out that I tried to go into and couldn't. I call up here level four. And this whole area that I'm looking across right here, this is where you want to hold. So everywhere from top shotgun lift over to here, which I call shrooms because of these shrooms. You can look down on this room. The top control room and this whole area is just was good to was good to watch let me run you through the rest of the weapon spawns really quick and then we'll be done and i'll go through this map more in depth in another video sniper spawns right here every two minutes it does spawn at the start it's been too long so it's already disappeared in case you don't know weapons disappear a minute after they spawn if nobody touches them and at 12 minutes and 10 seconds the first rockets will spawn right here these are another thing that used to spawn off the start, and they took them, they uh, changed it, so they don't spawn off the start anymore. So I'll just run you through blue, blue room here really quick, where blue spawns, those four spawns. You have that lift right there, there's a health pack right there. And here we are, a sniper spawn. 
So it's probably, that means uh, 13 minutes and 10 seconds has come. And there's that camo. So now you know all the weapon spawns. And that should just about do it for V7. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative. Maybe not. There is one little treat I want to show you guys. Hold B. Mini Spartan doll. And with that, I'm out. Peace.